Philippines as a tropical paradigm is a home to myriad and rich aquatic biodiversity with all have their origins in the most narrow to very vast bodies of water. As Lapung and Fujihara 2008 would describe, the Philippines has abundant water resources having endowed with 59 lakes, 421 river basins with drainage area ranging from 40 to 25,649 kilometers square. From among the principal river basins, 18 were identified as major river basins with drainage areas of at least 1,400 kilometers squared, while the other smaller river basins have an area of at least 50 kilometers squared. Moreover, there are 1,000 kilometers squared of freshwater swamps, but alongside with the cycle, water systems in the Philippines come with great threats facing towards how the world works in the present times. Let's have a look at a local river here in Alegria, Maribulan, Alabel, Sanangani, up close and personal. In this video, you will see the beauty of Maribulan River. This is part of Maribulan River, but as you can see, the water is not too clear. It's because last night there was a flood, and take a look the damage that has been done by the flood. Don't you know that I crossed 10 times from the junction of the Tian and San Vicente rivers of Alabel Sarangani province? Hello, good morning, Sir Vincent and my package. I am trying now to cross this river in a course the force of this water. Uh, it's not too heavy, but it's hard for me to walk. And I'm going to send to you the water quality. As you can see, the water is not so clear in the sense that last night there was a heavy flood and you know it eroded some of the water bank according to the inhabitants in this place that they can get aquatic life like small fishes in this river and as you can see in the river bank there are algae and mosses or locally known as lumot yeah, that serve as food for the fishes, the aquatic life. And this river also, of course, we can deny the fact that they serve this as labahan. Dito sila naglalaba and they use the third gem that unconsciously they do not know that it forms aquatic life. At the same time, for it to tell you this, accordingly, there has no comfort room for them to poo Oh my yeah. gosh! So, they're going to sila dito! Huh? So, this water might be contaminated with bacteria! GE in Ars Administrative Order 2016-08 adopts and promulgates the Water Quality Guidelines or WCG and General Effluent Standards in which in Section 1, it is the policy of the state to pursue a policy of economic growth in a manner consistent with the protection, preservation, and revival of the quality of our fresh, brackish, and marine waters. Thus, it will be righteous for the locals and the authorities to take a step and make it sustainable in achieving the goal. The forces of this Maribulan river are the Patak River, Mohan River, Mohak River, and Masadik River. And we are going to find the source of this and I'm going to try to drink. This is free-flowing I'm going to try. It has a natural tool and it really catch my thirst. Oh my! I found a friend! Hello friend! How are you? I'm going to give you a I know your name. What are you 
doing here, Judel? Magkabo po ng tubig. Ah, ah. magkabo tubig for? Para sa panigod Panigod to. Ang tubig is inumon, Dili. Oh, inumon. Who oh, you know? Who oh, you know? <laughs> the water here is potable. And look. Kuwan na mo siya. Kuwan ka ng abog-abog. Ah, okay. And then, after puha o abog, they are mutin, going to mutin on, Misha, set a uh, mutin out. The water becomes clear after getting the abog. And then, that water from here will serve as drinking water. And at the same time, that water will be used for cooking rice. Tama ba, Judel? Ah, uh, okay. It is undeniable that rivers are life, and so it is vital for industrialization. Yet, the Philippine Clean Water Act of 2004 aims to protect the country's water bodies from pollution of land-based sources such as industries and commercial establishments, agriculture and community or household activities. It provides for a comprehensive and integrated strategy to prevent and minimize pollution through a multi-sectoral and participatory approach involving all the stakeholders. This affirms that along with its use in the industry, there exists a law that protects its natural welfare. We, as individuals, as a part of the system, should take up space in protecting and preserving water bodies and aquatic life. Nothing as important as taking up space in order to rehabilitate the devastating consequences we have on hand and even uplift the status of the water systems in our country. That is all about Maribulan River. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!